The third ASABE historic landmark commemorates the first use of tile drainage in the United States. It was dedicated in 1935 in recognition of the 100th anniversary of the first tile drainage installation. The historic landmark dedication ceremony was attended by more than 200 people, including Lawrence F. Livingston, president of ASAE, from 1935 to 1936. Other notable participants shown here are S.H. McCrory on the right, ASAE president from 1923 to 1924, and Bureau Chief of Agricultural Engineering in USDA. Raymond Olney in the center, ASAE president in 1919 and also a longtime secretary treasurer of the society, and Professor B. B. Robb, a professor and drainage engineer at Cornell University. The first use of subsurface drainage actually dates back to around 3000 BC when hand-dug trenches were carefully filled with stones, green wood, and other materials to create a channel. Early clay tiles such as these from the ancient city of Ephesus and dated roughly from 0 to 50 AD were formed using potter wheels. In 1835, John Johnston of Geneva, New York imported two horseshoe-shaped clay tiles from Scotland. Using these as patterns, the first clay drain tiles were produced at B.F. Wharton Beast Pottery Works at Waterloo, New York. Johnston did field trials using the tile drains and was a prolific writer and spokesman for the benefits of tile drainage. By 1856, Johnston had installed 72 miles of clay tile drains on his 320-acre farm. The practice of tile drainage spread as machines evolved to make tile and to dig trenches more efficiently. Extruded circular tile were being produced by the mid-1840s and the steam-powered trencher around 1900. As the drainage tile improved, so did handling and installation equipment. In the 1960s, corrugated plastic tubing was introduced for drainage and quickly replaced the clay tiles. Today, drainage installation is primarily done using high-speed drainage plows and corrugated plastic tubing. Marion M. Mike Weaver, a longtime ASABE member and author of History of Tile Drainage, collected and cataloged over 350 different styles of drain tile. In 1994, Weaver's collection was moved to Johnston's original farmhouse near the historic landmark plaque location and the house dedicated as the Mike Weaver Drain Tile Museum. ASABE members continue to recognize and are proud of the important contributions of drainage to public health and economic well-being. An estimated 110 million acres in the United States benefit from artificial drainage.